I just heard the most amazing song. I want to learn how to write a song just like it. Are you good at poetry? No. Then you shouldn't write one. That wasn't very nice, aren't you supposed to say something like, you can do it if you put your mind to it. No I don't want to set you up for failure. But people can learn how to do things if they know the right way. Haha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course you can do it. You just have to know how to do it. Wow, you just said something nice. Um. What are you waiting for? Tell me how. Oh, I didn't know you meant that you wanted to learn right now. Of course I do. The first thing to know about writing a song is form. You start out with the verse and then you go to the chorus and then... Whoa, you're moving too fast. Slow down. Okay. No worries. I'll break it down for you in an easier way. If you know how songs are structured, they become easier to write. Okay. Great. So the first thing you said was a song has a verse? Yes, typically a song starts out with someone singing words to start the idea of the song. Okay. And then what? Then comes the chorus. The chorus is the main idea of the song. It is like your topic paragraph that brings all of the feelings of the song together in one place. Like a song recap. Oh okay, and then I'm done, right? No. You mean there is more? Yes, you have to write another verse. But I already wrote a verse. Yes, but you have to write another one if you want to write a traditional song that you hear on the radio. Oh. I see. The second verse usually furthers the storyline that you are singing about. Sweet. Then am I done? No. You have to go back to the chorus. Oh, okay. So then write a chorus with more lyrics that further the story to make it come together even more. No, when you sing the chorus again, you keep it the same. Why would I keep it the same? Because it is the main idea that ties everything together. You wouldn't rewrite the main idea of something. It is the big tie in the song. But doesn't it get boring? It tends to make people feel more connected with the song because it is something that they heard and is familiar to them. Mm. That makes sense. I sometimes feel as if I know a song even if I haven't heard it before. So let's recap. You have the verse, then the chorus, then the verse 2 with different lyrics, followed by the chorus again, with the same lyrics. Got it. Verse chorus verse chorus. All you have left to do is add the bridge and then repeat the chorus a couple of times after that. I don't want to write a song about a bridge. That's not what I was saying. You said that you write a song with a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, add the bridge, and then the chorus a couple of times. Yes. A bridge doesn't mean a picture of a bridge. A bridge is a section of the song that changes it up a little to give it variety and more life and expression. Sometimes it's a dance break no words, sometimes it completely changes the mood of the piece, sometimes it's the driving message, etc. It can do so many creative things. That makes sense. The song that I was listening to did that and it just made me so hype. So hyped that I wanted to type and Skype all my ideas that would wipe away and take the storm to the peeps to change the norm. Whoa, Tiger. Calm down. Once you get the hang of this, you'll notice a couple more things. There's more? Yes. Some items you have a pre-chorus that is in between the verse and chorus. You also have to think of an intro. This is how you are going to start the song. I would begin it with a dope beat. And don't forget to write an outro. There are so many ways to end a song. That was a lot of information. Verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus chorus chorus. Sometimes you hear a song with a verse and then a pre-chorus, followed by the actual chorus. And then that process repeats again with the verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus. Next you add the bridge and then the chorus a bunch of times. 
Also make sure that you add an introduction to the song called an intro and have a way the song ends that is referred to as an outro. Got it? Yes. And if you forget, I hope you were taking notes or video recording this so you can go back and listen to what I just said. You have the form of music. When you know the structure of your piece of music it is called form. A, B, A, B, C, B, B, B is song form. A is the verse, B is the chorus, and C represents the bridge. I'm going to make a lot of money and buy a bunch of cars with the money that I make from this. Thanks. I don't think it is that easy. Do you know what words you will write? I'll just sell all of my stuff and then get inspired to write some heart-wrenching songs on napkins in diners that I eat at. And then I'm good to go. Thank you for all of your help. I will remember you when I become famous with a lot of money and people around me that love me. Okay, bud, you do that. <laughs>